In this week's 48 Hours, a Michigan woman was convicted of murder and arson after authorities say she set her home on fire to kill her husband and then ran him over with a van when he escaped the flames. She was sentenced to life in prison, but convinced a judge that she didn't get a fair trial and was released. Well, now the Michigan Attorney General is fighting to reinstate her conviction. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty investigates. On the afternoon of January 7, 2007, the day her house went up in flames, Linda Sturmer says she was doing laundry in the basement when she heard her husband Todd let out a scream and ran upstairs. There just seemed to be fire all over in the living room. I could not have gotten over to Todd because there was fire between the two of us. She panicked, she says, and escaped through the front door with no shoes or cell phone. My first thought was to get out, Todd's gonna get out. She says as she was about to drive off for help, Todd did get out alive and that she tried to help him. He's jumping around and he's patting himself. He's, his skin is burnt terribly. I can't touch him. And so I get back in the van and I lost sight of him. Linda still can't explain what happened next. Did you know you had run over your husband? No. But Todd's blood was found on the bumper and the undercarriage of the van. When emergency medical technicians arrived, they tried to save Todd. And they said they couldn't hook up a defibrillator to him. So he was too badly burned. Firefighters found him unresponsive outside the home on County Road 215. He died of smoke inhalation and thermal injuries. Linda and Todd Sturmer's sons, Trevor and Trenton. What do you believe happened? Our mother murdered our father. She drugged him and she set the house on fire, doused him in gasoline. Then after the fact, when he managed to get out of the house, she uh, ran him over with her van. Did you have anything to do with his death? Nothing whatsoever. You must know, Linda, that it's very difficult for people to believe that your husband is burned in a fire, he escapes, he's still alive, badly burned, and then you hit him with a car? You just happen to have that kind of bad luck? <laughs> bad luck doesn't even describe it. All right, so Aaron is here now to talk about this case. It's um, an odd case because really to start off with, this is not really a who done it. It's more, did it happen at all? The real oh. question here is whether there really was a murder or whether it was a series of very tragic hard to believe accidents. So how quickly after this happened did uh, did investigators zero in on her? Well, I think they focused on her immediately because of her actions that day and following the fire, but she was not charged for two and a half years afterwards um, and nothing had changed. Um, I think the real problem here, there's nothing to connect her to the actual fire. If you set a fire, you're going to have some kind of gasoline on you. Mm -hmm. There wasn't. No one saw her do it. Um, and in fact, if anyone was connected with arson, it was actually her husband. He had been suspected of two previous arsons. Wow. But her actions were so suspicious um, that eventually then they charged her. And that's the reason why there have been so many cases and appeals since then. Um, you know, watching that video of her walking along the water with her dog, uh, she just looks like sort of your typical suburban mom. And then you hear her sons say very matter-of-factly, well, she set the house on fire, she ran him over. Like, they don't even call her mom. They refer to her as Linda. Um, it, one of the things is I found her very open. She talks, but when you when you go talk to her daughters and talk about her their mother, you see one person. You go talk to the sons, and you think you're talking about a totally different person. Um, I've never run into that in the past ever, where there are really two different people. How do the sons describe her? Um, they think she killed their father. They think now they have some misinformation. So mm -hmm. they are they are absolutely convinced that she had drugged him and that's how he didn't get out of the house immediately. 
Um, but according to the autopsy report, he had no uh, medications in his system or just traces, nothing. Man. So it's it's a real mystery. It honestly is. These stories, there's never a straight line. There's always a zig and a zag and a curve. Right, but there's people's lives at stake yeah. here because right now with the state of Michigan wanting to have the conviction reinstated, she could go back to prison. She's been out for a year. Wow. Erin Moriarty, another great one. Thank you very much. Thanks. So you can catch 48 Hours, the death of Do Todd Sturmer, tomorrow night at 10 Eastern and 9 Central on CBS.